In this video, we are discussing median and standard deviation magnitudes. Whenever we are having a set of data, at first we should short it and the middlemost data will be known as the median. And standard deviation measures the deviation of our data from the average value. So let us discuss median and standard deviation magnitudes. So at first we are starting with the median, so median from the data set. The median is the numerical value which is used to separate the data set into lower and upper, upper halves. So lower half means all the data which will be lesser than the median and upper half means all the data values which will be higher than the median value. It requires complete data set and also in the shorted order. In a simple map reduce task it is very difficult to short data because here we are dealing with a huge amount of data. So, so shorting of those data will be a very difficult task. We should use some better logic to perform the operation very efficiently. Next we are going to discuss standard deviation of data set. So the standard deviation shows how much variations are there in the data from the average value of the data and we need to find an average before reducing the task. So in this case, in our example, we will take the comments.xml. So this is one XML we are having already. So comments.xml and from that find the median and standard division of the comment lengths. So from the comments.xml file, we shall calculate the median and also the standard division of the comments length. So let us go for a demonstration for the easy understanding of this concept. So in this uh, video we are discussing uh, that is our median and standard deviation MR task and falling under the summarization design pattern. So we are having the comments.xml is our input file under the folder input uh, slash comments. So under this one we are having this comments.xml. So let me see the uh, what is the current content here. So it is 37.98 MB. So we have just taken a snap a portion of this comments.xml and we are just opening this one. So there is about within the comments tag we are having certain number of rows are there and each and every row has got uh, multiple attributes. So each and every row has got attributes we are having the attributes like your ID and then post ID score and the comment that is a text creation date and the user ID. So these are the uh, respective uh, attributes are there under each and every row. We are having two classes are there. So that is the made st, that is a standard division data.java and made st mrtax.java. So made st data implements writable. So this writable interface is getting implemented here. We are having the set of this getter and setter methods. We are having the member variables like median and standard division. These two are the member variables. So we are having some getter and setter methods are there accordingly. Get median, get sd, set median, set sd. We are having we're overwriting this read fields. This particular method is getting overrated. Write is also getting overridden, and we are also overriding the two string method for the proper output. So we can find that we are having the read files. So a median and standard deviation. These two variables are getting calculated in data dot read int and in data dot read double. We are having the write method. So write method is also printing this median and standard deviation accordingly, and we are having the two string string method is also there for the proper display. So now what we shall do we shall go for made stmrtax.java. So it is it is the class and this class is a users comment from at comments.xml which will be read and determine the median and standard deviation of the comment lens per hour of the day. We are having the data format date format is also defined here there is the hours so we will be going for the date format date format is also defined you can find the respective format there and we are having two inner classes so there is a map uh, made sd mapper which is inheriting mapper uh, class and also we are also we are having the uh, reducer class will be also inherited in another inner class so we are having the uh, uh, there is output hour and output comment length to uh, variables are there within this uh, inner class and also we are overriding the map method xml parts will be updated uh, by the output of the method that is the xml to map so xml to map is a method which we have written already 
which will take the XML as input and returns the hash map object as output. So it will read the XML and returns the hash map as output and that will be dumped onto this XML parsed variable. So we are having the create date and the comment. So from the XML parts dot get and XML parts dot get text, XML parts dot get creation date and XML parts dot get text. Wherein the output hour set uh, here we are having that this get hours method is deprecated but it will work no issues and then output comment length dot set there is a comment dot length. So you can find that we are writing this key value pairs onto the context. We are writing this key value pairs onto the context. We are having the uh, med sd and there is a median standard deviation reducer which will be extending the reducer class and obviously as uh, other programs so here also will be overriding the reduce method here this reduce method will be overwritten so what we shall do here in this case will be calculating the median and also will be calculating this here we have defined one array array list we have defined one array list so initially the list has been made clear there is a comment length list and uh, output value dot set sd is equal to zero. So at first the, uh, the comment length list array list will be cleared, and also the op uh, values dot set is cleared. Now we are going for this uh, comment length dot list add. So for each and every uh, item is going to get added, get the lengths and add them to the list, and total length also we are going to increase with this current value of the length, and also the comment count has to be increased here. So after doing all this, so we'll be going for the short because we are going to calculate the median. Median is the middlemost value after getting shorted. So we have defined one variable that is a, um, the median value. And if this comment count is even, then we shall take the uh, comment count value, which is at the n by 2 minus 1 and n by 2 plus, and their sum has to be, has to be calculated. And then it will be divided by 2. So we are taking the average of the comment count values at the position n by 2 minus 1 and at the position n by 2. So those two comment count values are to be averaged and that will be kept, uh, that will be decided as a median, median value. But if the comment count is odd, that means in the else part, we'll be taking the respective value which will be found at the middle and that is the median value. And op, o, op value dot set median, we'll be writing this one as median value. So in this way, the median has to be has been calculated. Now let us calculate the standard deviation. So at first we are calculating the mean, that is the total length by comment count, and then we'll be going for the square sum. So we're going to calculate the respective uh, val minus mean into val minus mean means we're going to do the square. We're going to calculate the square sums, difference between val minus mean square, and then we'll be taking the square root after dividing it by comment count minus 1. So here we are calculating the squares and then opval dot set sd will be going for math dot square root that the squares come so square sum by comment count minus 1. So in this way in this way the standard division has been calculated and that has been written onto the context. The key value pair has been written onto the context. So here we are having the main function. We require two arguments from the command line. If the length is not equal to two, then we'll be exiting with some error message exit two. And then otherwise we'll be going for this uh, job instance will be created. And then we are going for add input path, set output path from with this job. And then uh, we know the respective mapper class and reducer class we have uh, inherited here. So we're writing this one as job dot set mapper job job dot set reducer job dot set output key job dot set output uh, value class output key class and output value class also and we are going for the boolean and if the condition is true or false accordingly we'll be returning the boolean value so in case of success we'll be returning zero in case of failure we'll be returning one so similarly we have written this respective code so now let us go for the jar file creation so we have gone for the export on the package name and then we will be giving the proper path and the file name and then we shall go for next and finish but already we have created this jar file so we're skipping this particular step now so the jar file has got created so we have come back to the command prompt so here the command is hadoop jar and then we are going to uh, give the the jar path and the respective jar file name and then medsd is the package name and the class name is MEDSDMR task, there is a class name, 
an input file that is a comments.xml is available under slash input slash comments folder and output will be created under the folder output uh, is a folder name where the part file will be created as the output file so we have executed the command so let me execute the command here so we're getting this output I hope yes we had a had a smooth journey so we got the output so it has got created under this input no we shall go for the root then under the output we're having this part hyphen r zeros so that is the respective part file name so let me open that one so we shall go back to the terminal once again so we'll be issuing the command sdfs dfs minus cat and then we shall give the respective path here and then part file name so go for part star so all files starting with the part will be printed but we are having only one file there so that will be printed here so we, here we can find that in the first column we are finding the id in the second column i'm finding the median and the third column i'm uh, finding the respective standard division so i've got this median and standard division calculated depending upon the comment length so uh, i've shown you that how to do that one let me delete this output folder not mandatory but we are just deleting this one so that we can create other execute other map reduce programs so now it has got deleted thanks for watching